I am in Slovenian capital Ljubljana and I am joined by the former Slovenian president, Mr. Danilo Turk. Mr. Turk, good afternoon and welcome to CGTN. My pleasure to be with you. You are following very extensively relations between China and Africa. What is your take on that? What do you think about those relations? How can you describe them? Well, these relations are already very important and their importance is growing. Uh, we should understand that uh, China has 47 Belt and Road Initiative agreements with African countries, which total 54, so 47 agreements with almost all countries of African continent. China also understands that Africa is a large continent, uh, 32 million square kilometers, 1.4 billion people and growing population, but that it is also a very poor continent. Uh, out of 35 uh, poorest countries in the world, 25 are in Africa. And uh, obviously there are huge development challenges. So uh, this in itself shows the, first of all, importance of the region and the understanding of China for investing in cooperation with Africa. Now Europe obviously has a long history with Africa, which unfortunately was for a large part colonial history. And China has very wisely focused on infrastructure, on telecommunications, on uh, manufacturing industry, and also on financial industry. So I think that China has established a very good basis for further development. And the specific uh, feature of FOCAT is to be able to address the most important, the most vital aspect of African development, and that is infrastructure. What do you think about the current state of Chinese help uh, in the fighting pandemic in, in Africa? Now, China has very wisely ad entered the scene by offering vaccines, and this has to expand. So this is an absolute priority number one, making sure that African countries get enough vaccines and that they develop their, own, their manufacturing capacity for vaccines. Can you give me some uh, preview or what we can expect from uh, the ministerial meeting and of course uh, your point of view about the outlook of China-Africa relations? Well, I can only express my hope and the hope would be that the uh, basis that has been already established in the, in the matter of vaccines, for example, will be strengthened. That China will demonstrate that it is capable of providing more support for vaccines in Africa in the immediate future. And secondly, it would be important to simply reassure reassure Africa about stability and long-term nature of African-Chinese cooperation. The world is going through a period of kind of turmoil which uh, creates doubts about uh, you know, stability of cooperation and cooperative frameworks for the future. China is perhaps the least burdened by this, so it comes with a big advantage to Dakar in Senegal and can reassure the African country that they have a stable, long-term partner who will stay with Africa for, you know, for, the, for the future. Former President of Republic of Slovenia, Danilo Türk, thank you very much for speaking for CGTN. It was my pleasure, thank you.